Wait till you see what we're going to do today. We're going to do some uh, cutting dies, some glitter paste, and some painting. And we're gonna do all that on glass. Very new, very fun. Come, Come play, play with, with us. us. This is a hanging frame and you can see it's got wood, there's glass, you can see the reflection, and it measures 11 inches by 12 inches. Right, and it has a 9 inch by 9 inch opening as well. So it's got that back on there. If we turn it over, right. you can see this is treated just like a picture frame. It's got these little attachments that hold this fiberboard piece in place in and the back. What's nice, it has a hanger. Sure. So we're going to do different things with it. And the very first one that you can see is using a stencil. So this is wonderful. I love the stencil actually done on the top of the glass. So you can see that sitting on top of the glass. And then we put papers behind it so you can see through to that beautiful look. And you don't have to put paper behind it. It's really pretty, I think, hanging in front of a window. Going outside, you can see the translucent, kind of like stained glass. Right. Now, this was done with Nouveau Glimmer Paste. So there are lots of different colors. You can see some of the colors used here. And it's just embossing paste, that, and it sticks right onto the glass. Right. And you can just use a stencil like this. This is the Sparkle More stencil. And I've um, masked off some of the areas just with um, little sticky notes, or you can use stencil tape and one at a time you can do that you can start with pasting the flower and you can use a palette knife like this just spread it on then remove it you might want to let that dry and then do the next part and then do the words beautiful it's just gorgeous and actually you do want to lift that up as soon as you uh, spread on the paste because that way you can clean it off and get ready for your next one and we thought it was really fun with those colors so now beautiful one color. idea I love a big bow there too nice yeah. idea now here is another i'm going to slip some uh, black cardstock behind it just so you can see it a little bit better right because this one we didn't put paper behind it so we've got that beautiful look just on the glass and you can totally put this in a window and you can see that you'd be able to see everything right through it very translucent now we have used a cutting die this is the intricate floral cutting die and we've done it on the clear adhesive uh, glitter sheets right these are the clearly colored glitter sheets and they are adhesive so just like that very easy to pull these off and what Debbie did is she took these and she put them on the white oracal vinyl now this is also adhesive on the back but by doing that she got that nice uh, white opaque look oh. instead of being translucent gives it a nice color and you can still peel the adhesive off the back of the vinyl and stick it in place very easily. And then you, as you can see, she did the flowers in the pink and some of them in the blue. Right, so just cut them again from the different colors and then place them onto that die cut. Really simple to do that. Now she's done it four times there. And then she used the, uh, the dazzle sheets to get these, aren't they called Actually, I think she used the nine little words cutting die. Right. And you'll see on that. The, on mm -hmm. the dazzle sheet. Well, right. you see the gallery to see. So we've got those mirror sheets. They're dazzle, right. dazzle sheets that you can cut out those words with. So we'll back up just a little bit so you can see that with this large nine by nine space, you can do four of them. You, Really, the idea is that you can do many things on right. this glass. I can just see that in a window with the light yes. coming through it. Yes. That would be beautiful. Okay, are you ready? Yes. This is okay. quite beautiful. We okay. put some white uh, cardstock behind it just so that you can see it. But look at this. Now, Lene used uh, the stamp, and this is the watercolor roses stamp. You can see everything down below the webisode. It looks like this and she has stamped directly onto the glass. That's right, and then she painted on the back of it with glass paint. Right. That's something new to us, and it's just, it's really simple to do. I really want to just show you, I have a piece of glass here, and she wanted to make sure that you know it's a good idea to Clean this off with rubbing alcohol first to so get a nice clean surface. Then use your stamp with a stays on, which you can use on multiple surfaces. She even stamped on a piece of paper so she could get a little mask. So after you stamp one, you can place that wherever that fits and then stamp your next image so you don't stamp over what you've done. And then all you have to do is turn that glass over 
get out your glass paints and use something like a toothpick or a skewer. Now these are the glass stains. You just said paint. I just want oh, to clarify true. that. Glass stain, it's like three fifty for this whole package. Right. And then you can just use something like this to just put it across. She also said that she used a paintbrush. We've been using skewers and toothpicks, but you can use a paintbrush if you um, if you clean it out quickly, really easy. But the thing is, you have to let this dry for 24 hours, to total drying time, <laughs> so that it dries completely. Another thing that she did was took Dazzles, placed it on acetate, and then she turned that over and uh, used the stain on the back of that. And that butterfly is right here, just like so that. Really so really can... simple, it's a, it's a gorgeous look. And, and then the dazzles have got the words right there. Actually, find. let's go back in close, John, so we can see those flowers. They're just stunning. And because it has that attachment, you can simply uh, pull the glass out in order to do your stamping right. and your coloring. Lene said the thing about stamping on glass, definitely use the stays on and you need a very steady hand. You want to just press it down gently and lift it up because it can kind of slide easily on glass. Okay. So something to remember. Some dazzles are right there. And then the ranunculus. Ren ranunculus. <laughs> Thank you. Ranunculus. Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> I love the different colors. Plus right. little um, sequins in there too, and that's from one of our sequin uh, uh, tins. That's right, and so just, just a beautiful look. Quite lovely. So Lene is in okay, love with sequins. Okay, so we've sequins. already had uh, three. three different ways of using this beautiful glass frame. Now we're going to go to the giant dazzles, and again we've placed um, a white cardstock behind this just so that you can really see that pop of color and the sunlight would do that for you. Right. And you can see that this is not only the dazzle on top, but there's also glitter behind it. Right, and there's a really easy way of getting that. So you've got your glass stains here. I'm gonna take a little bit of it. Uh, they're nice and they, t they close really tight and be sure and keep that close so it doesn't dry out quickly. Put just a little bit of it on an acrylic block and then I've got micro-fined glitter. And all you need to do is add just a little bit. Just sprinkle a little bit of that on there. Let me get in the middle here. Sprinkle that on there just a little. I'm gonna make sure that I get a little bit more here. And you don't want too much because it'll turn it sort of into a paste. So just a little bit of a time until you get a nice sparkly uh, stain. And then you can start using that on the back of the glass after you have that dazzle in place, that nice big dazzle. Okay, so, oh, very pretty. So all of those colors came from that one little package uh, actually, of the glass stain. Actually, I, I want to say that uh, Susan did this on the front. That, that, that's true. Yeah. She put the dazzle in place, then she mixed up her uh, stain and glitter, and she actually applied it in between those little open areas on the front. Okay, let's and get in close so we can see. Okay. Just to see that sparkle and shine. So just adding the Isn't glitter to it, very pretty. Just adding it one bit at a time. Now I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna sort of pick it up because I really like when you can sort of get a little bit of light behind it. Can you see it getting brighter? <laughs> that's with a little bit of light behind it and that's what you can get if you put that in a window and let it shine, it's beautiful. So four ways at least that you can do this hanging uh, frame piece right. and uh, use the products that you already have. Just beautiful and you're gonna have a lot of fun with these gorgeous frames. We guarantee it.